welcome to ASL Online with Miss Tasha. So this week we are going to be learning all about animals. Specifically, we're going to be doing pets. So the sign for animals is you're going to take two hands, you're going to have your fingers together, and you're going to put them on your shoulders, on the inside of your shoulders. And then all you're going to do is you're going to move them like little wings. This is the sign for animal. Animal. The sign for pet is like we're petting an animal. So my pet, and you can use this both ways. So you can use it for this is my pet dog or I'm petting my dog. So you have pet. So you take your fingers, bring them together. You take your other hand and you just pet your wrist. Pet. Our next sign is dog. And I think dog is a pretty fun sign. So the sign for dog is you're going to almost make it look like you're snapping. So you have two fingers, you bring them together, and then you snap, snap. You're not, you don't actually need to make the snapping noise. You're just rubbing your fingers together, and this is the sign for dog. So actually, it looks like a snap, but it's actually spelling D-O-G, dog. So dog. Some people will do the snap and then they'll tap their side or their leg if they're standing so you can snap and tap like you're trying to call a dog either way so you can do the snap tap or just the snap and again you don't actually need to make the snapping noise but that's the sign for dog our next sign is cat so we've done this one before if you watch story time so you bring your fingers together of your index finger and your thumb and like you're drawing whiskers so cat cat. Our next sign is bird. So bird, you're going to take all of your fingers, you're going to bring them down, and then you're going to bring up your index and your thumb, and then you're going to bring them together right next to your mouth, and you're going to bring the two together twice. Bird, like a beak. Bird. Bird. Our next sign is turtle. So for a turtle, we're going to do a thumbs up and we're going to put our thumb right on top and then we're going to take our non-dominant hand. So remember, non-dominant just means the one that you don't use as much. So you put that one right on top like a little turtle shell and then you're going to move your thumb up and down like the turtle's head. So this is the sign for turtle. Turtle. Next we have rabbit. So we have two fists and then we put up two fingers and our thumb comes out and then we just curl them. We stack them on top of each other and then we curl them down. Rabbit, kind of like rabbit ears, rabbit. And our last sign for today is going to be fish. So fish is kind of like you would imagine a fish swimming through the water. This is just the sign for a fish. So you take your hand, fingers together, and then you just kind of wiggle it. And then some people will take their second hand so that way you can see that this is the one you're supposed to be paying attention to and you'll wiggle it. Fish, fish, fish. All right, so we are gonna run through all of those and we'll see how many of them you remember. All right, so we have animal, pet, dog, cat, bird, turtle, rabbit, and fish. I hope you enjoyed those signs. See if you can find any use for them. So if you're calling your dog or if you have a cat or even a turtle, see if you can remember to use those signs every now and then. That's the best way to keep practicing and that way you'll retain it and remember it for longer. I will see you next week on Monday at 10.30. I hope you have a great rest of your day.